Yo, what's good guys, welcome back to more Pokemon White Egglock. In the last episode, we defeated Clay, the fifth gym leader in the game, and got ourselves the Quake Badge. And in this episode, we're going to make our way towards Miss Dralton City, home of the six gyms. So, a lot of people keep telling me in the comments that I forgot to hatch the egg uh, that I got in the episode before we took on Clay. The last episode, I was in kind of a rush to get it done, so yeah, we're going to just hatch that egg right now. And, um, Odino was the Pokemon that we caught. We caught Nurse. So we're just going to swap her over to this box here, and we can hatch an egg. So, going to grab, uh, we're going to take one from box two. I need to actually switch something out from my team. So let me just put, uh, Primplup. Even though Primplup is like the star of the last gym, we'll just drop that in there. And, uh, yeah, let's go pick a egg from box two. So, let's see what we are going to get here. Hopefully it is something awesome. And I better not, like, forget the nickname or anything, so... Weatherman is what we got here. That's going to be an easy name to remember. So I, I'm just going to keep repeating it to myself. Weatherman, 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 so I don't forget. Anyway, guys, as always, if you could leave a like and show some support, that would be awesome. It'd be great because, you know, I just really appreciate the support. It keeps me motivated to make more videos and whatever. And it'd be great if you could drop a comment, too, telling me what you thought of the episode and uh, stuff. So this is Weatherman, and it is a cast form. Seems sort of obvious, but yeah, Weatherman, the cast form, that's... Pretty sweet. So, just uh, give this thing its name. I, oops, I pressed select a bit too early. I was meant to press it now. There we go. And uh, yeah, we have Weatherman. So, again, makes sense. Uh, it just about fits too. I thought it might have been over the character limit, but it's perfect. So, there we go. Weatherman, the cast form. And um, yeah, we can get another encounter. Actually, we can get like a few encounters, I believe, in this episode. So, we could hatch a couple more eggs. But, uh, yeah, let's just grab our Primplup, and we'll put, uh, Weatherman back in the PC. So, it's Modest with Future Sight, Sable, Amnesia, and Tackle. Pretty nice. Uh, Modest Nature, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna grab Primplup, and we are gonna be making our move towards Miss Dralton. So, we'll just take a look at our team real quick, and swap some stuff around, and swap some items, or whatever. I kinda wanna try and get Apom to evolve, so I'm gonna give that the experience share. Because, you know, getting that thing more, it's like, it gets, I, I still haven't looked it up, but I'm pretty sure it's like level 32, or something like that, when it gets, uh, double hit, which is what it needs to evolve, so, when we do that, we get ourselves an Ambipom, which is sweet, and we're just going to get off of Pikachu, because Pikachu's alright, so, uh, again, the whole, um, <laughs> the whole OCD thing with levels and stuff, not really an OCD thing, it's just something silly. But yeah, we are going to make our way to Mr. Alton City, so let's head over this way. And I believe we have to face Bianca. Yes, we do. Alright, so. Or we don't, I don't know if we have to face her. Did she just give us, like, Surf or something? I know she just give us Surf, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she does battle us, I thought, so. You always have to battle them. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. It's, it's cool. We'll just destroy her and uh, move on. Alright, so Bianca is going to be leading off with her, her gear. And it is level 28, or is it 26 or 28? 26. Or is it 28? I can't see. <laughs> it looks like 6. But it looks like 8. I think it's... I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna Volt Switch it. Whatever. Um, I don't know if it'll take it out. Hopefully it does, because, you know, that'd be good. And it doesn't quite do it. Okay, so... On the off chance it's gonna attack me, I'm gonna go out into my Umbreon. Because we have the Rocky Helmet on it. So yeah, it's going to take, uh, well, recoil damage from, well, it just dies to Rocky Helmet, but it would have taken recoil damage from, uh, Takedown 2, so, that's good. Anyway, next up is Panpour, so again, we go right back out into Pikachu, and we just go for a nice Volt Switch and, uh, knock it out, so, she should have, um, should have Servine, which is good, I still have guys like Koalava to take that on, so it's not bad. So yeah, we'll just switch on this thing too, and this will definitely knock it out. It did that much to hurt here, which is not super effective, so... Yeah, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is 6. It's 20, they're both level 26, I think. I like to think they're 26. Uh, I don't know what she's going to go into next. She could probably go into the Servine, actually, so... We'll go out into Quilava. And Servine is coming in, so yeah, I expect it. I think, are both their Pokemon that she... Oh no, she has a Musharna, doesn't she? Yeah, Musharna should be her last Pokemon, or it may be- Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Musharna by this point. So we can go out into, uh... Into our... 
thing. That's the thing, yeah. Um, got into our Ilumise demise and take care of it. So, last Pokemon is Musharna. And Demise can handle this thing, so yeah, we'll go for a Bug Buzz. Don't know if it'll knock it out, but uh, hopefully it does enough. And Bianca sends out Musharna. So Musharna is level 26. I think all her Pokemon are level 26. I was like, just. Yeah, it looks like a 6. I don't know. It looks like an A2. Just the way it's curled at the top, it's sort of odd. I'm sure people like, yell at me, like, it's 26, but. Or it's 20. Wow, well, it's a lot, but it's a crate. Never mind, so. Yeah, two bug buzzes knocks out the uh, Musharna. And there we go. So, good stuff. Alright, so, level 30 for Demise, nice. I don't remember what level the next gym leader is at, though. That's gonna be interesting enough. But, uh, yeah, sweet. So, oh, she gives us Fly, not Surf. I thought we got Surf off her, never mind. Where do we get Surf then? It's, I'm not sure. I can't remember where you got Surf. I think, uh, yeah, who gives you, what? If she gives you Fly, who gives you Surf? I have no idea. Anyway, there's an Ultra Ball, which is nice. And we need to switch our team around real quick, so we'll go with, uh, Apom as our lead, and we'll do some healing up, even though, like, we didn't take that much damage, but we'll just do it anyway, regardless. So, do we have any super potions? Uh, nope, we're fresh out. We have Moon Mimux, though. We have plenty of those. May seem like a waste. I'm not gonna use it on Umbreon. Umbreon's fine, but, yeah. Good stuff, alright. So, over here is Route 6, which means we get another new encounter here when we run into one, and I believe we have loads of, uh, scientists here with, like, Deerling or something, so we can take those on as well, such as this Deerling here, and it's level 27, so we will just go for Revenge as an extra fan. I don't know if that'll keep it alive from a Revenge, though. Yeah, it does, okay, it, it only does about half, as we gotta take a takedown, and, uh, Revenge is gonna knock it out. So, there we go. And, um... Yeah, just getting Ambipalm in this episode would be nice. I don't know if we will, though, but it'd be pretty good. Anyway, our encounter here is a Deerling. Just like, we just faced one, but whatever. Uh, let's go for a cut. Hopefully it doesn't knock it out. That's perfect. Gotta take a double kick. Um, hmm, that did all right damage. I don't know if I'm going to catch this thing with, like, the first Pokeball or anything. I can't switch into uh, Umbreon. If it goes for another one, it's going to... Get hurt by the rocky helmet twice and then knock it out. So we gotta go out into our print plop. And um yeah, we'll uh just let it hit us with like take down and missed, which is good. And we will try and catch this thing with an ultra ball. So if we catch this thing, there'll be this will be awesome. There'll be another egg that we can hatch. Which I'll do at the end of the episode. I think I'm only gonna go I don't know how far I'm even gonna go in this episode. I'm not gonna go through the charts stone okay? cave. I'm gonna save that like for its own episode, because I think it's pretty long and I wanna cover it all, so. Yeah, I'll uh, save that for its own episode. I can't remember how long this route is. I don't think it's that long. But anyway, uh, obvious name for Deerling is going to be super obvious. Bambi. There we go. Even though Bambi's a boy, because he becomes the, the prince of the forest, I believe. But whatever, doesn't make a difference. Anyway, Moo Moo Milk and heal up our uh, A-Palm. And I'm going to switch Pikachu to the front because... It's my lowest level Pokemon, along with, uh, with Volkneer. Alright, so what's happening? Uh, oh, dry skin, of course. Actually, I should think there's, like, another thing coming up, another, like, deerling coming up. So I don't know, I don't know if Great Pikachu is gonna be out here facing off against deerling. I can't just Volt Switch, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, let's see what we got here with this Pokemon Ranger. Got herself an Amolga, uh, hopefully he doesn't have... Uh, Lightning Rod. It doesn't. Alright, great. So, Bolt Tackle should knock it out. And, uh, next up is Deerling. So, I'm just gonna, like, switch out instantly. I don't need to Bolt Switch if I can just automatically switch. Of course. And, uh, just take this thing out with a Flame Burst. So, there we go. Nice and easy. And, um, get a Cherry Berry, which gets rid of Paralysis. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Alright, so next up is this person. I think she... Oh, yeah, she probably is Deerling, I think, doesn't she? Oh, she's Timbo. That's okay. I mean, Pikachu can take care of that. 
with a Volt Switch, because it's not a ground type yet. So Volt Switch is going to take that out. And level 30 for Teal, nice. Um, I guess we'll go into Teal and see what's coming in next. Another simple, uh, I could just keep going to Pikachu, but I think, uh, I think Teal can take care of these things, and the more experience, the better if I want to try and get Ambipom. And another Timbo, watch, just three Timbo's, I mean, get some originality here. And try and just shake up your team a little bit, shape up, come on now. Four Timbo's. And that's our last Pokemon, so she's not gonna reveal, like, the, the Palpatone at the end. But really, four Timbo's, Nicole, seriously? That's how you want to do your stuff? Alright, fine. Then we got Deerling Guy coming up here. Um, I probably should have let off with Apom again, but whatever. So, Deerling. And we are just going to switch. Using X Attack, interesting. I'm still going to outspeed it with like Apom, so... We can go into that and just go for... I think Cut should knock it out. Hopefully. And it hits, and it does take it out good. Luckily, we didn't miss, and it went for, like, double kicks. That would have, like, obliterated me. Alright, so over here, got ourselves a Hyper Potion. Sweet. And I believe down here is, like, another Hyper Potion, or... It's an Elixir. Why, why would there be two Hyper Potions in the same vicinity? I don't know what I'm thinking about. I don't know. Tranquil. Uh, I think I'm just gonna Volt Switch this for the experience. Of course, you have Detect. They always have the tags. I don't know why I didn't expect that. <gasps> oh. Are you serious? Did that really just happen? Five gyms. Five gyms without losing a Pokemon, and I lose to a Tranquil. I lose a Pokemon to a Tran- Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, to whoever sent me Survivor, I'm so sorry. I really thought I would have just knocked it out with both. I thought- I, I didn't- There was- It got a crit, there was nothing I could really do, but... I didn't think. I didn't think it would knock me, like, I didn't think... <sighs> I'm so sorry. I I deeply apologize to whoever sent me... Whoever sent me Survivor. Because... That shouldn't have happened. <sighs> well... We have to put something in the death box. At least we can hatch something new with uh, the deerling that we caught. I'm just gonna make this box here the death box. I'm sorry, Survivor. You did so. You were doing so well. Well, uh, yeah. Continue. You gotta hatch something new. I have my choice out of these Pokemon. I think I'm gonna. I don't know which one I'm gonna pick. Um. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, we'll take another one from box two. I could even pick the Pokemon that I hatch here. So, uh, yeah, let's go through and see what we are going to get. Hopefully something cool. I'm still in shock over that. But, uh, we got ourselves, uh, Jackie here. Holding an Ultra Ball. <laughs> right. Okay. I guess we'll see what Jackie is. And, um... <sighs> I'm disappointed in myself. I shouldn't. I should just run away from wild battles. I or should have sprayed or repel. There's no reason for me to take them on when I don't have to. And anyway, here we got Jackie the Metatite. All right, cool. Um, I guess kind of like Jackie Chan in a sense. I think that's what it's supposed to be going for. But um, yeah, that's uh. That's cool. Uh, so we got Jackie holding an Ultra Ball, so... Let's just see what this thing is looking like here. It is an adamant nature with Hydrum Kick, Psycho Cup, Bullet Punch, and Fake Out. Wow, it's like a full... A fully set up <laughs> Metacham or Metatite. Uh, what do I want to use? Um... Let's see. 
I know we have, we have a flying type gym coming up. I don't really have anything that wants to take on a flying type. Uh, actually, we have we have Tynamo, but that oh yeah, someone said that's clear body's not the real ability, so I can't really use that. That's like not legit. Everything else has been legit. Um, trying to think what would be good. Um, I'm gonna take Trendsetter. Our team could do with a grass type. So yeah, we're gonna take Trendsetter. I can't remember what Pokemon I hatched for Trendsetter. I think, uh, well, it was, wasn't in the first six. Actually, it was in the first six, wasn't it? I don't remember. Um, I'll have to look back at the episode. I'm just gonna give it the experience share right now. Um, yeah, I don't remember what I hatched for Trendsetter, so that's my bad. I'm just gonna give it the experience share, though. And uh, level it up as we go along. Survivor, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should heal up actually while I'm here. The first death. After five badges. <sighs> I'm upset. I'm pretty upset about that, but... That's fine. We'll go with, uh... Go with Trendsetter. Carablast, bug type. Uh, I'm just gonna take this on for experience for uh, Trendsetter. It's my own fault for not remembering what I swapped it for, but I'll just uh, take a look in the PC later on, or and, like the previous episode later on, after this one. But like we're gaining levels already. <laughs> look at that, level eight, level nine. That's fast. That's eight levels so fast. And another Carablast. So I guess I'll take that out too, just again for the sake of leveling up the Trendsetter. So level 10, and level 11, so that's good, alright, sweet. Huh. <sighs> well, another Carablast, oh, these things just want to get knocked out, I could probably get a Grovile before the end of this, I will probably end up with a Grovile before the end of this episode, that's nice. Uh, level 12, uh, it's level 16 for Grovile, so I mean, yeah, we could definitely end up by the end of the episode with one of those, we just left some trainers to take on, especially like this one here, who will give us a... Decent amount of experience, more experience than taking on a Carablast for sure. So let's we'll go for Flame Burst, X Speed to raise its speed, and take it out with Single Burst. So, level 13. Nice, nice, we're getting there, we're getting there. The Trendsetter is <laughs> catching up. Uh, well, not really, it's still a couple of levels behind, but sure. Alright, so, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do some, like, grinding after this episode as well. Just, like, even when I have, a uh, when I know what level it is, uh, like, what level I'm supposed to, well, it doesn't matter. I'll probably get it up to that level by then. Because I don't think I, I, I had to transit her pretty early, if I remember correctly. So, I'll have that, like, leveled up. I think that's gonna be, uh, I think the way I see it, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Like, in the grass there, there's like two Pokeballs. One of them is going to be an Amoongus. But again, either way, it's experience, and experience is experience, so... Um, I think when it's down like that, it's not... Oh my, can I... Okay, I'm sorry, Rappel. Or not an Amoongus, a Fungus, sorry, my bad. I'm getting... I thought... I got... I... I uh, yeah, yeah, exactly that. I uh, called it Bites of All Form, not it's... pre of All Form. I need repels. Just <laughs> let me spray this repel real quick. I think I can see that this one over here is a Pokeball. And I think that one over there by that puddle is a Pokeball too. Nope, that's a Fungus. My bad. I know, I thought you could see, like, you could tell because the way they're, like, sticking out of the grass or something. I don't know. Anyway, you just flame burst this to KO it. And again, experience for a Trendsetter, who is one level away from evolution. So that's looking good. That's one thing I can be happy about, I suppose. <laughs> because, unfortunately, we have, uh... Lost our first Pokemon. It's still upsetting. Because we, we were doing so well, guys. I mean, five badges of the lost Pokemon. I mean... Yeah, and it had to be the one that, like, helps the most in the next gym, too. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of... Leer. For Pursuit. And a Frillish, uh, that is a water type, which I have 
Or it's about a ghost type, I can go with, uh, with the shadow, but I really don't have much for it. Which is why I picked the trendsetter, because I lost my, uh, Pokemon that takes on, uh, water types, so I had to replace it with another one that takes on water types. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. We just lost Pikachu. Anyway, Trendsitter is evolving, which is great. Got ourselves a Grovile pretty much instantly, which is good. The experience share really comes in handy. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to grind, uh, grind this thing up to about level 28, 29, just so it's catched up with everybody else or caught up with everybody else. But there we go, we got Trendsitter and it evolved into Grovile. Trying to learn Fury Cutter, uh, not gonna teach that. Because, yeah, why would I? It's not great. And, uh, let's take on this dude. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, he has got a Minchino. And we are just gonna Flame Burst. And he also has himself... a Mulga. I really have nothing for this thing now. Um, gotta stay in, I suppose. And just go for Flame Burst. Which only does about half, but luckily we outspeeded and it only went for Shockwave. It didn't like paralyze me or something, so good stuff. Trends that are up to 18. Good, good. And Cherry Berry. They all seem to be giving me Cherry Berries for some reason. Whatever, it's fine. I'll, I'll take free berries. Charlestown Cave seems to be like a complicated maze, but actually it's straight road. Right, okay. I believe this over here is like a rest house, so I mean we can heal up there. And that guy's telling me I can go see Cobalion if I wanted to. But uh, I don't have Surf, so I can't go see the legendary Pokemon Cobalion. I know a lot of people pronounce that different. It's like Cobalion, Cobalion. I, I like Cobalion. I think it sounds like sort of weird, but it sounds pretty cool as well. And uh ring the bell for uh, his parallel. Yeah, I gotta ring the bell for Survivor whenever I get there. For sure. Uh, we still have a repel spray, so shouldn't run into any wild Pokemon. Nothing over here. That was a waste of time. And, um, yeah, there's something blocking off Charged Stone Cave here. Thanks for waiting. Oh yeah, he did want us to come here, didn't he? Well, it's like the nest of, a, of an Electro-type Pokemon called Cavantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if it's if there are folks having problems, the gym leader's the one to fix it. Crock a rock, take it out. Nice. Good job. And take this TM. <laughs> yeah, okay, so he'll give it to me. Um, I don't know why he said it like that. Yeah, he gives us TM78 bulldoze, which he was supposed to give us back at the gym. But it's cool, so Bulldoze is a move that can lower down speed. And it's actually pretty decent too, so... See you later, Clay. Thanks for your help. And, um, I think, with all this and done, I'm gonna be wrapping it up here. In the next episode of Pokemon White Egglock, we are gonna head through the Charred Stone Cave. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, it'd be great if you could leave a like. Again, your support is awesome, and it keeps me motivated to make more videos. So... And you can leave a comment too if you want. That'd be great. So, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.